Corey Tampson, good evening. The West Park Presbyterian Church has stood here on the Upper West Side for 132 years. It has transitioned from an active congregation into a vibrant performing arts center and historic landmark, but now it is in jeopardy of being sold, demolished, and turned into a high-rise apartment building. The local community is trying to save it. Candidly, we're fighting for our life. It's a David versus Goliath situation. Susan Sullivan is leading the charge to save West Park, the performing arts space and primary tenant inside the West Park Presbyterian Church building on 86th at Amsterdam. The Upper West Side doesn't need another steel and glass structure, especially when it means demolishing something that is so critical to the history of this neighborhood. But before that can happen, the city must revoke the church's landmark status, and that's what community members and local leaders are trying to stop. When the Landmarks Commission first landmarked it back in 2010, they, they noted that it was one of the finest examples of uh, Romanesque revival architecture in the city, and that hasn't changed, so I don't know why you'd uh, want to change it now. The Presbyterian Church, which still owns the property, says it has no choice but to sell because of, quote, insurmountable expenses to preserve the deteriorating building. It says local leaders and community partners committed to raise funds over the last decade, but the money never materialized. The center at West Park wants to now buy the building. Councilmember Gail Brewer says that would change its designation from a church to a nonprofit and open up funding options. If it's owned by a nonprofit, I can get city or state federal money. Puppet artist Justin Perkins, who's been working out of West Park for about five years, says the artistic community and local hub for creativity is simply irreplaceable. When spaces like this go away, they go away forever, and the city is just not the same without them. Now, if the church is indeed knocked down, the developers have committed to setting aside 10,000 square feet in the new space dedicated just to worship, community activities, and performing arts. The local community board is set to meet tomorrow to decide whether or not it will recommend removing the church's landmark status. The city's Landmark Preservation Commission will make the final decision on that next week.